Hey everybody, this is Beauty Holly coming at you with another cooking video. Today on the menu we're cooking some country style ribs. And the seasoning that I'm going to use today will be the adobo seasoning. This is new to me. I have never used this before. So I wanted to try this out. Of course my staple seasoning, slap your mama. Of course uh, sea salt, um, onion powder, black pepper, and garlic seasoning garlic salt and also I'm going to try the Lipton onion soup mix as well I'm just going to pour that in there as well for flavor so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and um, season the meat put it in a crock pot and then I'm going to come back and show you what it looks like so I'll be right back okay y'all I am back and um I wanted to show you exactly what kind of ribs I'm making. It's the country style ribs. So, now I'm not a meat person. I don't know what part of the uh, pig this comes from. I'm assuming these are pork. <laughs> but, yeah, it's pork shoulder butt country style ribs. Can you see that? That's what these are. So... I'm making barbecue. I'm going to barbecue these and I'm using Sweet Baby Ray's. This is my staple. This is the only barbecue sauce I eat. And this one also. So what I'm going to do now, well first let me show you what it looks like. Let me show you the meat. Hold on, let me move everything out of the way so you can see the meat. Okay, so that's what the meat looks like. It's all seasoned up and ready to go. I put a little water down at the bottom. I'm getting ready to add my onions and plus the onion soup mix. And then I add the barbecue sauce on top. So here we go. Make sure y'all can see. There you go. Okay, so let me get my onions. I love onions, so I put onions in just about everything I make. We're just going to spread these along the top of here. And this is the first time I've ever put these in a crock pot. I usually put them in the oven. I'm off today and I wanted to go ahead and get this done this morning try this out and see how it's going to work for me okay so we have that on top of there and then I'm going to add the onion soup mix and I'm only going to add one package I think that should be enough I don't know how this is going to do on top because I'm thinking you're supposed to mix this with water but once we put that barbecue sauce in there it should be okay one package of the Lipton onion soup mix in there okay and now we're going to go ahead and add this barbecue sauce I'm adding the hickory and brown sugar first let me get this down son okay here we go I'm just going to pour this Okay, I just added this barbecue sauce and I poured a little water in here and poured it in here too just to get um, the rest of the barbecue sauce out. So I've already had my uh, crock pot set on high so it's already warm and ready to go. I'm going to let this cook for about 7 hours, 7 to 8 hours. So I will be back then to show you what the finished product looks like. Thanks so much. See you later. Bye. Hey everybody, this is Beauty Holly coming back at you at about 7 hours and the meat is done. I just turned it off. You can see it's still cooking and bubbling up and everything. Everything is just very good. It's all tender and I'm going to show you how tender it is. You can just tear the meat apart. Uh oh, you didn't even see that. Sorry, let me get another piece. Okay, here we go. 
you can just cut it just like that. See how I'm cutting it? Tender, 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 tender. There you go. So it's everything is done. I like this recipe. I probably will do it again. Um, I'm gonna fix some sweet potatoes with this and maybe some green beans to finish this off. So this is the finished product. This is what it looks like. Take this spoon out of here. And that is it. So thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. And if you decide to make this recipe, recipe, please let me know. Thank you for spending time with me. See you in the next video. Bye.